this math tutorial I'm going to look at nested parentheses. Uh, if you aren't familiar please uh, on the link on screen go and check out order of operations before you attempt this tutorial. So let's have a look at the nested parentheses. What is the definition of nested parentheses? It is parentheses or brackets nested in other parentheses or brackets and the order of operations still apply. Let's have a look at some examples. The first example we have is to calculate 8 in parentheses plus new parentheses 2 to the power of 4 plus 3 all in parentheses divided by 9. Or if I can just say it as I read it using brackets bracket 8 plus bracket 2 to the power of 4 plus 3 close the bracket close the bracket divided by 9. So we're still going to apply the order of operations and the order of operations says that we have to do brackets first but now we have a nested bracket so that means that we are going to do the nested bracket first and inside that nested bracket we actually have an order or an indice or an exponent and we need to first expand that exponent in order to calculate the nested bracket so we expand the exponent in the nested bracket first next we are going to calculate that expanded exponent and we're going to see that 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 will equal 16 so there we have calculated the exponent by using multiplication our next step to complete the nested bracket is to do addition because we also had a add 3 and if we add 16 and 3 together we will get 19 and there we have finished our nested bracket so we finish the nested bracket by doing the addition. Now we still have the larger bracket, the 8 plus 19. So that is next. We are then going to add 8 and 19 together to get 27. And finally we have 27 divided by 9. No more brackets, no more powers or orders or exponents. And thus we get our answer which is 3. Our next example says 5 to the power of 3 times bracket bracket. 18 divided by 3 close the bracket minus 5 close the bracket so we have 18 divided by 3 nested inside of the bracket with the subtraction of 5 so our first step will be to first do the brackets the nested bracket and we're going to then say 18 divided by 3 is 6 so we first do the nested bracket by dividing now we need to go over and do the other bracket, the, the bracket that is left. And we see that 6 minus 5 equals 1. So we finish the bracket by doing subtraction. Now we have 5 to the power of 3 times 1. No more brackets. Now we can go over to doing orders or exponents. So we are going to say expanding the order 5 to the power of 3 will give me 5 times 5 times 5. And then, of course, times 1. So there I have expanded the order. Now I just do multiplication, left to right. I'm going to say 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, times 1 is 125. The third example I'd like to have a look at is the one that says 5 plus bracket 2 times nested bracket 5 to the power of 3 plus 3, close the nested bracket, close the bracket, minus 84. Our first step is to do the nested bracket and inside the nested bracket again we have an exponent or an order which we need to expand. So we're going to expand that first by saying 5 to the power of 3 is 5 times 5 times 5. And I put that in bracket as well just to see that I first need to calculate the order. So there's the nested bracket expanding the order. Expanding the order. Now I calculate the expanded order and I get 125 but I still have plus 3 that is inside that nested bracket. So I then add 125 to 3 to finish off the nested bracket. Now I have 2 times 128 left in brackets. 
Now I'm going to do the multiplication of 2 times 128 to get rid of that bracket and I get to 256. So there I've done my last bracket by doing multiplication. And finally I have only addition and subtraction left. 5 plus 256 minus 84 yielding 177 by doing addition and subtraction left to right and that is my final answer. If you found this video helpful, please remember to subscribe and check out any other math tutorials. Thanks for watching.